This is Stan, and this is his mobile home. When strong winds blow, mobile homes need special protection to ensure a safe study space for you and your family. No matter where you live, tie downs and anchors are necessary. Whoops, there he goes. Maybe he needs a tie down or two. It's a good idea to consult with an experienced, professional installer or building inspector if you have any questions or doubts about the installation. But we're confident that much of this work can be done by the owner. To resist wind forces, you need two different types of tie downs. In older homes, a vertical or over the top tie down is needed to compensate for the uplift force. A diagonal or frame tie down is needed to compensate for both lateral and uplift forces. Single wide manufactured homes need both types of tie downs. Double wide homes only need the diagonal ties. Are you ready to begin the installation, Stan? Step one, level your house. If your home isn't level, it's gonna make the installation uneven as well. Step two, check the wind zone chart for your location and determine the required number of anchors recommended for your zone. You can find this type of chart online and should regard the number as the least amount of tie downs needed for your home. Step three, determine your soil type. Some types of anchors need to be installed a few feet deep. Talk to a building inspector to determine your soil type. If you'll be attaching your tie downs to a concrete foundation, make sure it's at least four inches thick. From there, you'll be able to select your anchor type and hook up. Step four, locate any wires or cables you may have leading into your home. Mark the location before you start digging so those cables can stay undisturbed. Step five, position over the top tie downs. If you're installing an exposed over the top tie down, the strap or cable should be positioned over a roof rafter. Protect the edges of your roof with a protector of some kind and make sure the strap or cable doesn't cover a window or door. Step six, install the anchors. This is the exciting part. You'll find specific instructions with your anchor. Be sure to follow them carefully. Uh, Stan, you have them upside down. There you go. Final step, Stan. Adjust the tension. Alternating from side to side, adjust your tie downs to the appropriate tension. If you do one side of your house, then the other, your home will not be anchored at the same tension. And that's it. Easy peasy, right Stan? With the right equipment, time, and effort, your home will be ready for the rough winds that may blow your way. It looks like Stan doesn't even have any wind left to give.